black coffee and a beer. <laughs> worked on Fox Bodies for a thousand years. Don't get my channel censored. No gloves, like a real man. <laughs> On this episode of OG Superfly Garage, I have my friend Isaac with me. We're gonna do an entire rotation, having a slight discussion on it. So let's get to it. Mind you, she's not the Black Widow because the Black Widow is in virtually perfect condition. This is her. Shiny. First thing you want to do is consult your owner's manual. As I've already previously discussed with Isaac, and the owner's manual here shows you for this vehicle, the tires go back to front and front to back. There are other factors that I discuss with him, like if you have a staggered setup, right? So a staggered setup is where you have wider tires in the back and more narrow tires in the front. So in that instance, if that was a setup, you would go side to side, not front to back. Some owner's manuals is gonna have an X here. So that's gonna tell you to take this right rear and move it to the left front and so forth. Now, if you have a setup to where like your tires are staggered and directional, well, now you gotta go to a tire shop, have them take the tires off the rim and then remount them so that they're rotated. But this car is different. He doesn't have a stagger setup and his tires are not directional. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up the vehicle. I'm gonna put it on jack stands. So this will make taking the lug nuts off a lot easier. But if I didn't have this, what I would have to do is loosen all the lug nuts up before I put the tires in the air. But I don't need to do that because I have this. Craftsman, what only a craftsman will do. <laughs> I don't really have no... I got the I got the special edition, the one that doesn't have jack up points. I guess not. Hey, we're gonna figure it out. So. You can probably hear the hear the vibration. The vibration is what knocks it loose. Therefore, you don't have to have the car flat on the ground in order for that to happen. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have James show me one time and I'll do it myself. Like, I'm never gonna do this. Cool, bring it back. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't have any of this stuff. I'll never be like, yep, that's the jack point. That's good. So part of the reason for the front to back okay. scrape yeah. is because of your tire pressure sensors. Okay. Those are usually site specific. So I think I think that's the reason why they want it done on the uh, same okay. side. Okay. I know if I can give you just you can clap. I can't even clap with these soft hands. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say. This actually goes inside the rim. You don't want it to get stuck on the edge here. Oh like it inserts into like a, a pocket. Yeah, exactly. So what I did was I left it loose and I pulled the rim on there like this. Oh, so it doesn't pinch when you tighten it. Exactly, so now I can just kind of, when we torque these down, you want to torque them down in a cross pattern so that the wheel goes on straight. That's the order we're going to tighten them down in. This one, then this one, and this one, this one, and that one. I also need you to show me how to set the torque on a torque wrench, because that, I got one, I was messing around with it. I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> if you want, you can look that up. All right. So your make model and then say lug nut torque spec oh this guy say it doesn't really matter so yeah you really want to listen to him <laughs> yeah. 
No, he's wearing ghost dust. Soft hands, brother. <laughs> My hands soft? <laughs> No, sir. Real man would never wear gloves. Don't make me take these <laughs> off. <laughs> you want to take them off the other side? Learn from the best. All right. Just like making an omelet. Yeah, make sure Hannah sees this. He's actually working. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They'll be like, who is that? Let's see if I got what it takes. <laughs> no. Papa! Papa! Right? <laughs> hey, hold up. quiet for your daddy up here. <laughs> That's how a real man does it. No gloves. <laughs> First time I wear gloves and this dude's giving me a hard time. A real man would have had that on by now. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Chef Boy RD can. Chef Boyardee goes hard. <laughs> Don't dis disrespect Chef Boyardee like that. That's not how the guys at Jiffy Lube do it. Jiffy Lube? No. Okay. I'm not gonna bash him. I'm not gonna do that. I'm trying to bait him. <laughs> See how many trolls we can get on this YouTube channel. <laughs> So that's 70 right here. See how the line goes down? So the bottom part of that line would be 70. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna turn this up to where it gets to 70. And this is on a zero, so that makes it 70. So you want 76. So you just keep turning this like this until you get to six on the center line. Mm. And you just tighten this down. Yep, so now you're at 76. We're gonna torque them down. Yeah. We're gonna need to put the car on the ground. Oh, okay. You just wanna keep it going. You're done. Oh, that, that click. click. That click lets you know you're there. So cross pattern, right? So now we're going here. So what I generally do is I'll go back. Let's see. Double check. Anyway, job's done, tires are rotated, class was in session, but class is over now. Toyota's good to go. Isaac kept me good company, even got his hands dirty. Man, so. No gloves, like a real man. <laughs> no, thank you, thank you, James. Learned a lot, yeah. Looking forward to doing more of this. You're welcome over here anytime, Isaac. Thank so, you. What we do at OG Superfly Garage. Yeah, maybe next year, when the budget lasts for it. Probably not. That's when you know you made it though, when you got the haters. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it rough. It makes it rough. So. You're a good cook, guys. <laughs> it's all good, man. Nothing wrong with that. The green is hey, man. Great. You said the green tastes like hot flour. <laughs> hot flour. That's uh, Newton meters or something like that. You want, you want, yeah. You said Newton. It says New Mexico. Yeah, right. <laughs> 
I didn't say ramen, I said pasta. Oh, pasta. And the fact that you're uh, reading culture into it makes me, uh, you know, it's a little offensive. Uh, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> don't get my channel censored. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was pasta. I thought you said ramen. Man. <laughs> Shoot, my hack when I was single was um, we call it bachelor stew. And so what we would do is make rice. I already rice. hate it. <laughs> you're saying 76 is like relatively light for these uh, little yes. nets? Like the excursion, it's a bigger truck, obviously, but it's like over 100. The Mustangs in the 90s. Making me feel self conscious about the uh, force spikes on my tire. Amen. I want to be in the 90s. I've worked on Fox Bodies for a thousand years. <laughs> That's not how you do it. Somebody wrecked it, obviously. And then somebody just tried to beat it back into shape. Uh, well, they beat it back into shape, obviously. Yeah. So, this is my brother in law. This is Ricardo. Well, I just want to say, it looks good. I like the job. It makes the truck look a lot different. I like it. So I'm satisfied with it. Did it. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>